My name is Ranger Elizabeth from the Parklands of Floyd's Fork, and today we're going to answer the question, why do animals have different traits? So first let's answer the question, what is a trait? A trait is a physical or behavioral characteristic that you get from your parents. So, an example of a physical characteristic is something about the way you look. So some of my physical characteristics are that I have brown hair and that I have green eyes. So stop for a second. Think about what are two physical characteristics that you have. We also have behavioral characteristics. And these are a little bit more common between all humans. So say for example, you're walking on a trail and you come upon a giant bear. What would you do? You would probably get really scared and maybe run away. So getting scared is a behavioral characteristic. So where do we get our traits from? Well, let's think. All of us are born with a mom and a dad, even animals. Animals have a mom and a dad. Plants like flowers and things like that have a mom and a dad. So we get our traits from our parents and we get half of our traits or 50% from our dad and we get the other half of our traits or 50% from our moms. So if you have siblings, let's think, do you look kind of like your siblings? Probably. Do you look exactly like your siblings? Like same face, same bodies and everything? Probably not. So the reason we all look a little bit different than our parents is because we only get half of our traits from each parent. It's the exact same with animals and plants. So let's look at some examples of how we look a little bit different than our parents. Here's an example of how we have flowers that are the same type of flowers, but have different traits in between them. So on our right side, we have some pink flowers that have yellow edges on them. Next to those flowers, we have pink flowers with white edges. And if we look a little bit further over, we have just plain pink flowers with no colored edges. These are all the same type of flowers from the same family, but they all look a little bit different. Some traits are just physical traits, and they don't really have a lot of meaning. Say, for example, our hair color. But some traits are influenced by our environment. So around me, we have lots of different animals, and they have different traits because of this environment that they live in. So let's take, for example, these bugs. So let's be quiet and listen to these bugs. So why do these bugs make these noises? Well, they make the noises to communicate with each other. All of these bugs need to find a mate or to find food, and they can't talk like you or I, but they're born with the trait of being able to chirp or sing like the cicadas, and that's how they communicate. Each bug may have a different level of sound or a different voice in their sound, but they still all make similar sounds. Think about it with humans, right? We all talk, but we talk differently and we talk in different voices. Same with animals. Another trait that is dependent on the environment is for animals that live in the water. Do you think if I put a cricket in the water, they'd be able to survive? Probably not, because they don't have the traits to survive underwater. But what about fish? What kind of traits do fish have to survive underwater? They've got gills, so they can't breathe oxygen like we can as humans. But instead, when they swim in the water, they have gills that help them absorb oxygen in order to survive. And that's a unique trait of fish and other aquatic organisms. Let's look at some more traits. Another example of how the environment can affect traits is illustrated here by Ranger Russell. So Ranger Russell is an Eastern box turtle, and you might notice he has this shell on his back. 
So he has the trait of this shell to do a couple of things. Number one, it protects him, but it also gives him camouflage. So let's put him in the mulch and you can see he blends in pretty well to the ground underneath him. So if Ranger Russell here was born with, say, a bright orange shell, do you think he would be able to blend in as well? Probably not. So traits are also influenced by the environment. So let's recap. Animals get their traits from their parents, and they can also get them from their environment. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me for learning about traits. Don't forget to do your worksheets and also to play the fun game all about the different traits of raccoons. Thank you.